Today we want to look at the creation story. Many people have this phrase, God is good all the time and they reverse it all the time, God is good and we all talk about the goodness of God. While that is great and should be encouraged, we have to know what is so great in this goodness of God. How is God great and why? According to the Genesis story, Genesis chapters 1 to 3, God created the world freely and in a masterful, master. it was a masterpiece and he brought order to the formless void. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. Let's see if you can get that reading. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Now the earth was a formless void. There was darkness over the deep, with a divine, with a divine wind sweeping over the waters. God said, let there be light, and there was light. So the beginning of creation, darkness, and God dispelled that darkness with light. Now we could say, God is good all the time. God of light. Now the earth was a form formless void. There was darkness over the deep and God said, let the dark, dispel the darkness brought light. Thus God declared his creation to be very good. Genesis chapter 1, 31. God saw that all he had made and indeed it was very good. So that's the goodness of God from the beginning, from creation. All that God created was very good. These foundational stories from the first th three chapters in Genesis inform the entire Bible. And it shows us how we ought to read. Beginning with the premise that God is always good. God is great. God is gracious. God is merciful. And we can go on. The physical world is not a burden. God loves it and it was his masterpiece. These fundamental ideas about creation are also echoed throughout sacred scripture. The incarnation of Jesus Christ is an affirmation of the goodness of God. The incarnation is referred to several times in the Gospels, Matthew, Luke, John. Let us see what Matthew says about the incarnation story. Matthew chapter 1 verse 18. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being an upright man and wanted to divorce her informally, decided to spare her publicity and decided to divorce her informally. Let us see what Luke says. Um, Luke, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee to a virgin betrothed to a man named Jesus. That's Luke. And then John talks about Jesus coming in as the light of the world, echoing what we just heard in Genesis. That light that no darkness could overpower. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. We will talk about that later on. Right? When he came, when what has come into being. A man came sent by God, his name was John. So we're going to see Jesus, the incarnation story. Jesus came as John's gospel as the light of the world. So when we talk about the goodness of God, we start in Genesis. His whole creation story was very good. He sent his son Jesus. Jesus came as the light of the world. So that's all for today. And tomorrow we continue with the goodness, the creation of Almighty God. Amen.